Hey guys, my name is Josh Smith. I am the president of Montana Knife Company, and I'm very excited to introduce to you today a new knife that we did in collaboration with Aaron Snyder of Kufaru, and we call it the Jack Stone. The Jackstone knife is actually a Canadian belt skinner design that you see very few companies make these days. And this is a knife that Aaron actually sent to me. Uh, he sent me a, draw, a, a couple pictures and a drawing on a napkin. And this is something that he wanted to build. He really likes this style and, uh, and he hasn't really seen these done in a long time. So I said, yeah, let's do it. And we went after it. And this is a really cool little knife. There's a few design features about this knife that makes it super handy, and I think they're the reason that Aaron likes this knife so much. Let's talk about why we call this knife the Jackstone. This year, Aaron Snyder was using this prototype knife up in Canada, sheep hunting and goat hunting, and he was messaging me from his inReach. And we were discussing through his inReach messages when he was on the mountain what the name should be. And I asked him what mountain range he was hunting in, and he said the Jackstone. And I was like, that's the name. He's in Canada. He's messaging me from an inReach, talking about this knife after he had just used it on a, on a bighorn sheep. All right, so let's talk about the design of this blade and why Aaron likes it so much. It's a leaf-shaped blade, so that means it's wider out here at the belly of the knife where you do 90% of your work with this blade. When you skin, when you cut, you do all that, you're always generally doing it out here in this working area of the blade, which is nice to have an extra little bit of width and thickness to that knife to be able to do a lot of heavy work. The other part of this blade that makes it so handy is the fact that this tip design drops down in here and makes it super, super strong. On a knife where the tip kind of goes up or trails away, that knife gets really pointy and really thin and it's easy to break that tip off if you get it in a bind. This is probably the strongest tip style knife that we make besides our stone wall. And like our stone wall knife, again, that's got some belly and some drop point to it, uh, which adds a lot of rigidity to this tip of the knife. This knife is also nice and thin here in the neck behind the guard area. Uh, it has a guard, so it keeps you from sliding up. Uh, but you can really pinch this knife nicely. You can pinch it between your thumb and your middle finger here, and you can choke up with your finger. And again, you can get right out there and really control this blade really nicely and protect from putting this tip of this knife through any of the guts in the cavity as you're working through that, through that animal. This knife also has the swelled portion here in the center, which really locks your hand in and makes it super, super comfortable uh, to hold on to as well as some jimping along the spine here for your thumb. So you've got some traction if you're really doing some heavy work, some carving, some push cutting. Uh, that, that jimping really does add some nice positive traction to this blade. So the Jackstone here is made out of MagnaCut stainless steel. MagnaCut is an incredibly stain resistant steel. It's a really hard working steel and it's also easy to resharpen. This blade also comes with a G10 handle. The G10 handle scales are basically bulletproof. It doesn't matter if it's freezing, if it's hot, if it's wet, bloody. We actually leave some of the milling marks from our machines on these handles so you have a little bit of traction if it's cold, wet, and slick conditions. Lastly, the Jackstone comes with a Kydex sheath. This knife locks into place really nicely because of that guard on this blade. So you are not going to lose this blade. We also have the retention screw right here, so if you need to tighten that sheath down even more on that knife, it is not gonna fall out. We also have our nice backpack carry clip design here where we can clip this knife on and off of a Kafaru pack or any other pack that you carry, as well as your belt, and you can do all of that without taking your belt off or taking your pack apart. Pop it on your pack, and then if you're gonna go in and make a final stock or a final approach, if you want to, you can pull that knife off of your pack and toss it on your belt and you're good to go. This knife can be carried horizontally or vertically, or if you decide to, you can pull that clip off, a, off of, the, uh, of the sheath and tuck it into your Kafaru bino harness uh, right behind your binos uh, if, you, if you wanna have that blade tucked in here. And again, you'd lose some ounces. Speaking of ounces, this knife is light. 
It's got a skeletonized tang and it's only three and a half ounces. Uh, so it's nice and light. If you're a sheep hunter, if you're a goat hunter, uh, Aaron, I think, used it on several sheep this fall and several goats. And now, as I actually make this video, he is elk hunting with it right now. So Aaron has been putting this knife to the test. Aaron is very picky about gear. If you know Aaron Snyder, you know that he has no bullshit when it comes to gear. And, and if Aaron's gonna put his name on something, you know he believes in it. So this is such a cool knife. It's so unique. It's different than anything that we make. And it's really different than anything you're gonna see in the industry. The Jackstone, I mean, that alone is a cool ass name. And I really like the fact that we got that name from Aaron actually in a mountain range where he hunts. So don't steal Aaron's hunting spot. Get one of these knives and hopefully you can put it to use.